Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another video for you today. It's Thursday. It's actually been a couple days since we have recorded, um, but we have had some sales, and we're going to go through those. I think we had a couple viewer sales from the past couple days that we don't have in hand, but we did want to thank you guys for them real quick. So I'm going to turn it over to Kathy, and then we'll get picking for what sold for us today. Yeah, I did want to thank Brittany. She bought a three-item bundle from us yesterday on eBay. And you didn't say you're a viewer, but I'm pretty sure you bought from us before and said you're a viewer. So <laughs> if not, thanks yeah. anyways, Brittany. <laughs> Brittany, um, thank you so much. Yeah. We're putting the items up on the screen here. So yep. thank you for that support, Brittany. A couple days ago, a viewer on Mercari, I didn't get the name. They said they watch our channel. They're mm -hmm. going to start reselling as soon as well. Um, but a pair of Dr. Scholl's. Yeah. So, viewer, thank you so viewer. much. <laughs> thank you I know so much viewer, that's for that support. We do appreciate matters. it. And yeah, good luck on starting. It sounds like you're just starting up or going to start up soon. Start soon so. so, awesome. <laughs> good luck for that. And as you guys can tell, this is why we haven't recorded yeah. the past couple days. Kathy's voice is still missing. <laughs> so, we this gave is it a break. Far too often <laughs> these days. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. It's very annoying, though. <laughs> I can't, not only can I not do videos, <laughs> I just, to do anything, like to go drive through Starbucks and anywhere really, Yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> trying to call, I, even trying to call the doctor to like see if they can prescribe me anything. Right, right, they right. They can barely hear what I'm saying on the phone. So it's just annoying. <laughs> and I mean, you, you feel no, okay, feel you're fine. just tired, right? Let me a little. I'm not even that tired anymore right now, I'm just a little sweaty up here. <laughs> yes. So. Yeah. Um, I was tired when we first got back from the trip. Which I don't even think is because of whatever's going on. I think it's just we, yeah. <laughs> vacation, right? It's <laughs> it's more exhausting than real yeah. life. Because <laughs> so. then you got to do all the laundry, put everything back right, away. And right, right. So. Get our normal life back up to speed. Yeah. So we've had a few sales today. Which... Yeah, we had a, so the last couple of days we had maybe seven or so each day. Obviously, yeah. I only mentioned the viewer ones. Um, and then, yeah, today is a more of a normal normal day. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this is an Umji sweater. Uh, we did already pull it because I just wanted to make sure it fitted in the padded flat rate, and it did. Yeah. So, that sold on eBay for $20 plus shipping. And I bought that at a thrift store for $3.50, so not too bad. Okay, BC, and this was a little bit lower than I wanted to take on these. But they were pretty beat up, so I bought these on cloud running shoes while well, these are the on running uh, cloud flyer sneakers. I bought for $9.99 and I accepted a $38 offer. Um, the ankles, like the inner ankles and stuff, have some rips. Not really rips, just kind of like wear. Going down, yeah. Uh, the tread is okay. They're just dirty. Mm -hmm. I washed them, but yeah. <laughs> so ten dollars into thirty-eight is still a really good flip. Mm -hmm. um, but like in the past, some of these shoes we've sold for seventy to one hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah. Condition yeah, does matter. Definitely look for that guy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, even in very bad shape, you can get. 35 to 50 bucks so. yeah just take really good pictures yeah. so that the the buyer knows exactly what they're getting okay. got the Reese bears <laughs> oh he wants a tummy rub <laughs> um this was one of the our personal items a kids vineyard vine sweatshirt that i bought for well actually i don't know what i bought it for Bought it off Kittison at some point, and my kids wore it. Sold it for $20 plus shipping on eBay. Probably making most of my money back there. Yeah, and I'm sure we'll get the question with that, how do you determine what your cost of goods is on that? And I always refer anybody who asks that question to uh, Mark Two over at Not Your Dad's CPA. He actually put up a video probably a couple months now ago uh, on how to determine your cost of goods on personal items when you don't have a receipt or you've had them for years. So go check out his videos. It's one of his more recent videos for sure. He is a CPA, but so that's the only reason I'm referring because you know, he's a CPA and a reseller, so. So yeah, basically we can't answer it for you. But yeah. <laughs> that's a very good easy I mean, we could, but do you really want to accept our you know, <laughs> suggestion versus an actual CPA, you know what I mean? Um, so 
for these, a pair of Air Force Ones. These are the golden scales. I purchased these back in like July 2020, almost two years ago. They just have not sold. I've dropped the price all the way from like, I think I started them at 70 or 80, all the way down to, now I got $35 plus shipping for them. So I don't know if these just wasn't a good style, but I did pay $12.99 for them. So I'm only about doubling my money there, which I mean, normally I'd be happy with that, but two years later, it's kind of- yeah. It's good to get it out of the inventory. Yeah, it's a big item, so. Yep, yep, yep. All right, these actually are the, these guys. Sold them. Sold them to our YouTube friend, Rachel Strickland. Um, she reached out, you know, just saying, because she was willing to buy them, even not knowing if they're authenticated, mm -hmm. um, how much would I want for them? And I said, I was hoping to make 20 after these and everything. So I listed them for her on Posh for 25. I make 20 minus the $1.84 I paid for them. Mm -hmm. So pretty happy with that. Um, yeah. Go check out what happens to these. Yeah, I'm excited what's, to see what's, what a, what's in for the future with these with over at Rachel Strickland's channel? <laughs> so if you're watching Rachel, thank you for that. <laughs> and I'm yeah. excited to see what you do with those. Yeah. My my thinking is they are legit for yeah. all that we've done, our Google research. Um, yeah, all my Google foo yeah. um, tells me that they're authentic. They're in bad shape, but, you know, there's some pretty pretty big tears and stuff in there. Whether or not they're repairable, right. no idea. So yeah. enjoy, <laughs> Rachel, and thank you so much for that support. Yeah. All right, see you, Vinny. And don't take our word for it as whether or not they are authentic. You know, we yeah. we just Googled it, so. <laughs> um, these are some Adidas. They're like a hiking shoe, but they're also like Adidas boots, which I thought was cool. I did pay $14.99 for these. Sold them on Facebook for $39 plus shipping. Um, those are going in a shoe box. Look at this guy. Weirdo. <laughs> He didn't want to snuggle the Rishi bear. <laughs> All right, box P. Um, this is a Quicksilver plaid. I picked up for two fifty, and I accepted a nineteen dollar offer on Poshmark. That will just go in a Tyvek mailer. Pair of Hurley camo cargo shorts. Picked these up for $4.99 and sold for $24.86 plus ship. That was on eBay. And that's gonna go in a pedophile. There are um Put them in the wrong drawer. There was two oh. drawers and I consolidated them. I guess I consolidated them into the wrong drawer. <laughs> I'm just messing with him. I always tell him he put stuff in the wrong place because it's just not where I would put it. I didn't know there was two drawers. Sometimes I put them in the same exact place you put them and it's the <laughs> wrong place still. <laughs> Alright, sold another pair of these kings. I got these retail arbitrage for 15. Sold this pair for 40 plus ship. I believe that was on Facebook. And that's going UPS, so we need to find a box for those. All right, this was kind of a cool sale, mostly because, so I bought these on Facebook for myself. They're actually these exact slippers, but in red. They're Restoration Hardware, which is a really expensive brand, but they're just slippers. Hmm. Anyways, they. They um, listed them as a women's 10, but they're actually a men's 10, so they're way too big for me. That and sounds like a sale just came in. Anyway, so once I got them, I got them for a really good deal. I bought them on Facebook. It was $10 plus shipping, so all in I was at $17.04. So instead of, you know, trying to return them or whatever, right. I was like, I'll just... Well, I looked up comps, and I saw some sold for, like, I want to say, like, $70 wow. or something ridiculous. So... Yeah, I was like, I'll just list them. Yeah. And I did. Uh, they did take a while, a couple months to sell. 
but they sold for $59 plus shipping on eBay. So hey. yeah, I still made like a $35 profit on basically an accident. Yeah. So lemons and the lemonade. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, those are going to need a larger mailer. I feel weird putting a man's pair of slippers <laughs> in the floral, so I'll look for one in a minute. All right, box O. Okay, this is a little pair of saltwater sandals. I actually bought these on Kitazan as part of like a a deal to get something I wanted cheaper, so I do have 841 into them. Sold them for 15 plus shipping, so I'm only making a few dollars profit, but I got my item I wanted really cheap. Yeah. So not necessarily something you would have bought for that I would price. Have bought those, yeah, if they were like under five bucks, right. probably. But you helped get your cost of goods on something else. This lower. just wasn't the like cutest style of salt waters. I would pay eight dollars for like a nicer style mm. or like perfect condition ones. But yeah, they normally sell around twenty to twenty five plus ship, so whatever you're comfortable paying <laughs> to sell for twenty bucks. to our viewer Odalis. She bought this Caribbean button down for 25 plus ship on Mercari. Awesome. So thank you so much for that. Odalis, thank you so much for all the yeah. continued support. <laughs> Appreciate it very much. Um, I mean, I just said I didn't want to put a man's <laughs> other thing in a floral, but I'm going to put this man's shirt in a rainbow. <laughs> Because you're a viewer. <laughs> this is my favorite mailers right yeah. now. So, oh, well, what is that? So yeah. that notification was that the payment and the sale at the yeah, same time? Yeah, normal. We hardly get those because yeah. everybody's like constantly sending offers. Um, it's a pair of Adidas Boost. It's saying shoe shelf. So I'm looking at the right one. These ones. I bought these for. Lost my place. Uh, Twelve ninety nine. Sold them for. <laughs> sort of all over the place. Forty nine seventy six plus shipping. So. Awesome. Yeah, really good. Those will probably go out in the shoe box. They should be just over a pound. So a two pound rate on eBay. Sweet. And what Kathy was doing there was she was looking at our spreadsheet on her phone, which is a really nice thing about Google Sheets. Yeah, it takes Google a little Sheets. longer to find stuff, but if you're out and about. If you're out and about, it, you can't beat that, right? My computer up, but it took a second. Right, right, right. So we'll go ahead and get this stuff packed up. We'll pack up those boosts as well, and then we'll check back in and see what else is going on. Okay, Reese, is that okay with you? Okay. Thanks for all the help, Mr. Reesey Bear. Got everything all packed up. No other sales have come in. It's only been 10 minutes. So. <laughs> um, but the post office does close in like 10, five minutes. So I'm going to get the stuff off to the post office and UPS and all that. Kathy's going to get back to work. We do have a live this evening, which yesterday, the 30th, was actually our two-year anniversary on YouTube, which... Is kind of crazy, <laughs> kind of crazy, and we've done over 500 videos, which is also kind of crazy. <laughs> so, but tonight on on our live tonight, we, we, we will be live. Kathy's gonna have some, I don't know, some tea. You want me to make you some tea or something? <laughs> she okay. hates tea, really. <laughs> but it does it does help the throat, right? I just got my beverage. <laughs> I just want some iced tea. <laughs> does that help your throat? I don't know. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be on our live show tonight. We're gonna be live. Uh, what is it called? We're going to react to our very first YouTube video. So like 530 something videos ago, both of us haven't seen it. Kathy, I don't know if you've ever seen it because <laughs> she doesn't really watch our videos. But um, so, yeah, hopefully you guys were there and saw that and saw how embarrassed we were because <laughs> I, I feel like we're going to be very embarrassed. Yeah. Um, but it's also going to show us how far we've come. And I think that's cool. So we're going to react to that tonight on our live. Hope to see you guys there. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.